Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In this video, I wanted to actually go over um, a another estate claim or an estate uh, case that I found in the unclaimed funds registry in the state of Maryland. And I'll just show you what I did and what I found out. So if you're interested in learning about estate claims in bankruptcy, please stay tuned. Please note that I am not an attorney. This information is not indicated as legal advice. So I'm working in the state of Maryland I'm on the the funds locator, and I come across this case here, and it says estate of Crystal Cassandra Jones, and this is the amount that she's owed back. Now, earlier I did a video uh, previously that talked about when you run across these, you have to go to the Register of Wills and find the PR. So that's what I've done. So this is her name, and this is the Register of Wills in the state of Maryland. Again, you have to find what that is. Uh, in your state and whether or not you need to register. But here um, I plugged in her name. So her last name is Jones and then it's Crystal. And then I did a search. And again, I'm looking for the PR. It looks like this is her, her middle name is C. So it's this and she's in Prince George's County. And so when I press that, here is the estate record. And it looks like her personal representative, maybe her husband, because it says, Dino L. Jones, and that is his address. So I have his contact information. And then another thing that I did, I went to PACER to verify the funds. And I actually found out that he filed an application for unclaimed funds, but it wasn't successful because he didn't include his redacted driver's license. He didn't include a copy of that. So he actually didn't get the money. So here's his application, and you can see here that um, you know he has his wife's name here and is deceased, and uh, his name goes here because he's the personal representative, and then we can go on and he see he signed it and it was notarized. Here's a certificate of service. So he really tried, but he forgot his ID, and they gave him a time frame because this was back in January. So that time frame of him submitting his ID, it looked like it already passed. And he actually did not, um, doesn't look like he re received the money. So I called him because his telephone number is here. I just called him and I said, Mr. Jones, you know, I'm so-and-so. And I saw that you were trying to recover the funds for this particular case. You know, did you ever receive those funds? Because it doesn't look like you did. So I was trying to get him to work with me, but he just advised that he submitted the ID on his own. I don't believe that he did that in time. I think he's just probably going to try to do this again on his own. So I'm just letting you know that these are the different nuances that you can deal with when you are doing unclaimed funds. You can deal with these types of cases that are deceased, and you have to do that extra step with the Register of Wills. And if you see a motion for unclaimed funds that has been filed in, and it doesn't look like they received the money and you see a deficiency notice, you may want to click on those to see why it was uh, deficient. What were they missing? And if you see that they didn't receive their funds, they may want to work with you, right? So I'm not going to take no. He told me that he already had it fixed, but I'm going to actually check back maybe another month and see if he got his the order uh, for the funds. And if he did not get the order, then I'll call him back and say, hey, are you still wanting those funds? Because, you know, something went wrong during your application process. So sometimes it takes that gusto to, to continue and, and try to get some of these claims. Um, don't look at these deceased claims and think that it's too difficult. But I've only really checked two sites, the funds locator and then the register of wills. I didn't have to pay for anything. I did have to locate this um, application. Um, but again, that was extra. You can look on the docket and see that it wasn't um, successful without actually downloading the document as well. Okay, so these are just some steps and these are just different nuances that come up. Don't get discouraged when you see these particular cases because it could work for you, right? So I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please check my description box for my course, uh, for my services that I provide. And please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.